Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now today. These are my thoughts and opinions on Season 4, Episode 7 of Taskmaster. And as per usual, if you want to see the full reaction, that is down top link of the description in daily motion. But yeah, these are going to be my thoughts on which... Something which I would say is probably my favourite Taskmaster video that I've ever reacted to. This was incredible, this episode, guys. We started it off with the one where they had to get from the start to the finish, carrying Alex's dinner whilst hopping. Now, I thought when I saw Hugh with his scissors, I thought he's a genius. He's done it. Easy as you like, no time penalties. And then out of nowhere, you just see Noel giving the most incredible hopping display, running along, just ducking, diving, strafing. It's like Lionel Messi, guys. He was like Lionel Messi, but yeah. Um, Noel did very well to win that task and then moving on to the next task of the episode <laughs> That game of hide and seek Lolly brilliantly done. She hid in this tiny gap behind the plank like other people Noel was caught in about 16 seconds. He literally went around the caravan <laughs> But Lolly did a fantastic job there guys and she managed to take home that second task and then we move on to the third task a team task where they had to, it, it's a weird concept guys, but <laughs> someone had to get in a wheelie bin. The people directed all were blindfolded and they could only communicate in another language. Guys, Mel's French accent was so beautiful, so romantic when she was saying it. It was just like music to my ears. I thought her and Hugh did a fantastic display. And then I found out that the other team in their broken German, <laughs> being told to kill the balloon they actually did better which was a complete surprise to me guys but you know it is what it is and then we finally move on to then no nope, i was going to say the last task of the episode there was one in between they had to make a handshake with the mannequin and this one it was like who did it the best this one i know lolly did it well with her sort of money paracetamol codeine like handshake which was a, which was a bit strange but it was okay I'll tell you who scared me though, Joe. This whole thing, what was this? For three minutes, just eye contact. Oh, that, that freaked me out a little bit, guys. You'll see in the reaction. <laughs> but no, that was a good task. Who won that task? I think it was, they gave it to Joe in the end. That was surprising to me, it was terrifying, but yeah. And then we have the live task where people had to make the biggest banana and everyone had different methods. Joe tied it to the thing, Hugh just put, made a massive banana. Mel's had room for improvement, <laughs> we'll say it was that. And yeah, moving on to the uh, tiebreaker task of the episode, the mayonnaise, the thing that terrifies me more than anything in this world, mayonnaise. This was there. And Joe had a stroke of genius. You see a mayonnaise jar covered in Vaseline and you think, they're going to get me to open this. He didn't even start the time. Open the mayonnaise, reads his, reads his task. He had a time for zero seconds and he ended up taking the episode. And guys, this was my favourite episode. I was laughing so much throughout. It was just so funny. Their chemistry is incredible. And I said, because it's been so long since The Last Taskmaster, tomorrow... I'm gonna do the finale, which I literally cannot wait for, guys. Literally cannot wait. But yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying watching Taskmaster with me. And I tomorrow's gonna be the finale, and after that we move on to series five. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.